Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be comparing Resident Evil Village to the Unreal Engine 4 Quixel Mega Scan Medieval Map. And pay attention to this scarecrow. So, like we said earlier, this game actually uses Quixel Mega Scans. If you don't know what Quixel Mega Scans is, it's pretty much photo scanned assets for free that I use for Unreal Engine 4. Oh, crap. Okay, so I guess this is what we're going to open up then. I was not. I didn't know. I, w I already beat this guy. But I guess we have to beat him again. Okay, so he's dead. Sorry about that. I didn't expect that guy to. Uh, to pop up again. So here we are, 40 frames per second. I have everything maxed out, 4K, 8 gig texture, and this is kind of what we're working with. Now I had to turn VSync on because some of you guys were um, seeing the screen tearing. But what's fun, like I said in my previous video, is what fun is I want kind of want to know what kind of Quixel Mega Scan asset they used in this game. So I'm getting about 38 frames per second now. Uh, maybe we can open that with a family photo. All right, guess not. Um, but yeah, so let's look around here, and then we're gonna we're gonna hop into Unreal Engine Four and take a look at the Unreal Engine Four kind of graphics, which has it's not the same game obviously, but which has the same kind of feel to it. Okay. All right. We're just kind of searching around here. Now, let's go back to the house. That's where that guy was. And, okay, yeah, he was taken there. It looks like I can't go back out that way anymore. Hmm. So, we get about 38 right now, maxed out. Oh, there's the key. All right, there you go. Bolt cutters. Sweet. Yeah, we're just going to play this a little bit, and then we'll swap over. I want to go outside, because I want to show you guys the... I know it's not going to be a fair comparison, obviously, because this game has AI, right? It has enemies, and so on and so forth, but it's still kind of nice to see the different engines you know we got re engine which is this and you have unreal engine we got some trees right here i'm not sure if that's photo scan i mean obviously for re engine being pretty old i mean my daughter's four re7 came out what 2017 it's not bad it still holds up pretty well, to be honest. Especially if you have a good graphics card, right? It's probably not going to look like this on a console. But yeah, let's just keep walking around. No, keep my mouth shut. Alright. It's not bad. It looks pretty good. And the game is actually only 25 gigs. It's a really small game. So it's probably going to be a short one. Which is surprising because the engine was already built, so I'm not sure what took him so long to make this game. Reload for sure. It is a little bit hard to aim with 30 frames per second, but I wanted to max this out as high as I can, so it's kind of like a good comparison. Let's go upstairs. 
It's probably another. Oh, great. Scare tactic there. Nice. They all look the same. Zombies look the same. Some cam fluid. And, oh, he's probably coming from here. That's why they wanted me to barricade. Alright, let's go barricade. There you go. He's got a fix. Oh, there you go. That's a different face. That one's the same guy. Alright. Like zombies right here? Man, these guys are fast. They're quick. Alright, I guess I gotta kill him here. Little Call of Duty zombie little scene here. What does that do? Hold? Okay, that's opening it. Oh, it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, screw it, let him in. Oh, he's up. He's up, he's up. Takes a lot. He's dead. Oh, gunpowder. Alright. I'm gonna get out of here, dude. Can you get out of here? Is there you go. Over. No, there's another one out here. Where is he? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here, and then we'll hop into Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine 4, Quixel Mega Scan Medieval Asset Map. For free, you can download this. I have everything turned up to cinematic 4K monitor, so let's play. Now, like I said, Resident Evil uses Quixel Megascan, while this guy, or this map right here, was made by the same guys, Quixel. So let's move forward. Now, I made maps, I made videos about this already, but they were like really low res. But now I have a dual PC setup, so I'm actually able to capture this in 4K goodness. And here is the scarecrow that I told you guys to uh, pay attention to. Do you think it's the same scarecrow? Scarecrow? What the scarecrow as Resident Evil Seven? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. But yeah, that's that. Oh, here's an asset. So in this map, they're also using their own Quick Soul Mega Scan assets that you can get um, from their website. If you're gonna use it in Unreal Engine 4, it is gonna be free. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint. Pretty nice map here. I really, they really need to make more of these. Nice. This is one of my favorite maps. Free maps, that is. And I turned off motion blur here, too, because you guys really did not like motion blur. Now, this is the packaged version. So I actually packaged it into a .exe. So this is running on a .exe uh, not in the editor, okay? Like my previous videos. So as you can see, it works a lot better. Because it is packaged up. And it's just pretty crazy, man. And knowing that Unreal Engine 5 is just right around the corner, I it's going to be insane. And what's cool is I hope I can open these same exact maps that I've been using here in the channel in UE5. So we can really see it. Lutilda K. 
cow. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go up this way. It's pretty crazy, right? You got a small team making this map. Did a really freaking fantastic, phenomenal job. Got another scarecrow there. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's go to the fire. That Resident Evil Village vibe right here. Yeah, fire's gorgeous. That's probably where the RTX 3090 is going to start dying. Look at this. Can we go up? Yeah. It's beautiful, man. Just to think next year we're gonna have these type of games. Oh, there's the smoky mokies. Look at this fire. Oh, photo scan assets. I don't know why that's floating. That looks kind of weird floating. Alright, let's check out the, uh, up here. And then we'll finish the demo. How many scarecrows was in this map? There's another one back there. Huh. Okay, I think that's where I came from, right? Oh, wait. Oh, that's connected. I didn't even realize that. Gotcha. I didn't even know that. Man, we gotta add some zombies in this game because... This is legit. Alright. Let's finish it up. But yeah, can you guys tell the difference between RE and Unreal? I mean, obviously it's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison because of AI and other stuff, but... Alright guys, that's pretty much it. RE Engine versus Unreal Engine. And then this has brought me here. You can take a look at it again. It's going to have some information about the map.